Anyways, yeah, my turn offs, I feel like those things like that turn on to turn offs, they completely change over the years um, at different stages of your life. In high school versus like right out of high school versus as like a young adult versus 40. And so now mine have really changed in the past 40 years, and so I'm going to be talking about those. I'm sure some of them are the same, but okay, whatever. I'm just getting into the video. Jesus. The first one I don't think has ever changed or will ever change for me or pretty much any other girl is confidence. Confidence is such a fucking turn on. We love, and this is the thing, guys love to say that girls love assholes. And it's true. I am one of those girls that I'm going to be completely honest with you. Girls love assholes. But it's not that we love the fact that they're assholes. We love a lot of traits that assholes have, one of which is confidence. A lot of these asshole guys have a lot of confidence, which lets them cheat on girls and hook up with the worst girls in one night and blah, blah, blah. It's the things that make them assholes. But if you can master the art of confidence and still be a nice guy, it's a win-win and then you win get lots of and by confidence, I don't mean the kind of confidence that I that you had in high school, where you can like scream in the middle of class and ruin everybody's day and get everybody in trouble and run down the halls with your pants around your ankles and dumb shit like that. And I'm just talking about general, just comfortable with who you are, comfortable with talking to strangers, comfortable with going up to a girl and saying what they think they're pretty, just not stumbling, fumbling over yourself and not knowing what to say and fiddling your thumbs and being super quiet and just not being comfortable and like one of people who like self-deprecates a lot. No, just be confident in who you are. One of the most, like seriously, the hottest girls I know have dated super unattractive physically guys because they're super, super confident and it makes them hot. Pretty much all girls do that, actually. Number two is affection. Girls love when a guy... <laughs> See, if I was to sneeze, then a guy comes to me and said... He probably shouldn't touch my face, I don't know. You know what? Girls love a guy who's affectionate. Playing with your hair, you know, a touch on the arm. But even just like putting your arm around her, girls just love affection. We crave it affection. Cuddle us, play with our hair. Put your arms around our waist. Grab our tits. I'm kidding. Do not grab our tits. Unless you're our boyfriend. Then you can grab our tits. But just in general, it's harder for guys to do that. I think guys are just generally less affectionate. But just keep in mind that girls really, really love that. Even if you're not dating, just like kind of being like tucking her hair behind her ear or right before you kiss her, like grabbing her face. Those little things that show that you like love to give affection, girls go crazy for. It's like being a good kisser. <laughs> No, but seriously, you can kind of tell right away if a guy's gonna be a good kisser. If he comes in for it, he's like, just get ready for the time of your life, bitch. If he's already got his tongue out, not gonna be a good kisser. If he's got his eyes open, not gonna be a good kisser. He's not putting enough passion into it. You know, if he is going for your your titties as he's going in for the kiss, no, too much of a horn dog is gonna slobber all over your face. You know, be easy with it, be casual with it, you know, be like soft. Not too much tongue, not too much lip, just be soft and easy. Speaking of easy, we like guys who are easy. A guy who is like a super picky eater, or who's always complaining about the service, or it takes longer than her to get ready. It's like it gets annoying. It gets like to be a headache. Like girls already have so much going on with like makeup and hair and their outfit and blah 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 and dealing with all that shit. It's like we like a guy who just is like you know, wears a t-shirt and jeans and converse, and he's super chill, and he's like, yeah, you can put them in, it's fine, and he's like, not thinking about his food, he's like, like, weirdly picking up tomatoes, or like, yelling at somebody because they like, you know, didn't seat him in the right area, he wanted to be seated in, it's just like, calm down. Just being chill and down to earth is such a big turn off. Next is being comfortable with his sexuality. Girls love a guy who's confident with his sexuality. Like, let's say you're out with your boyfriend and a friend of yours, and the girl's like, oh, this is the new guy I'm seeing. And I'm like, oh, he's cute, what do you think? And the guy's like, I don't fucking know, I'm not gay. It's like, calm down. Like, a guy who's 
comfortable enough to be like, yeah, he's a good looking dude. It's like, that's so much cooler than the kind of guy who uses like the F word, like the, you know, the gay F word, I don't even like to say it. Or the kind of guy who like refuses to moisturize or exfoliate because he thinks it's gay. Like, being super comfortable with your own sexuality and being like, I can do whatever the fuck I want, I, I know who I am. That is so sexy. Being a good guy. Girls, I know, like, I, like you guys said, they like assholes. But the truth is, like I said, they don't. They like certain aspects that assholes have, like being confident and knowing what they want and all of that. But girls like a good guy. If I go on a date with a guy and he's mean to a service worker, like the valet guy or the waiter, Fuck that, I'm out. That's like the biggest turnoff in the world. So being a good, nice guy, the kind of guy who tips really well, who opens the door for people, who, you know, if they see somebody who's like struggling, they go to help them. They see somebody fall, they're like the first guy to run up and like help them up. Like just being a sweet guy is such a turn on. And the last one is a guy who knows what he wants. This is another aspect of the asshole that's a good aspect and why we kind of date those types of guys. We like a guy who isn't super, super shy. Who's kind of like, look, I like you. I don't want to be down the bush. I don't want to be a fuck ass. Let's date, you sexy asshole. Kiss me, bitch. Don't call her a hoe or a bitch. But you know what I'm saying. The kind of guy who just knows what he wants. He's like, come here, darling. And he just kisses you and it's passionate. And he's just like, I know that I want to be with you, Kobe and I'm not trying to play no games. What's up? Which also goes back to confidence. All of this kind of goes back to confidence. Anyways, those are my, I think, biggest turn-ons. If I miss any turn-ons, girls, let the guys know in the comments. I sincerely hope you guys like this. If you like relationship advice or me talking about my own relationships and stuff, let me know. Leave a like on this. Leave a comment below. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye!